Uh, so myocarditis is generally a definition defined as inflammation of your heart muscle. And sometimes that can be caused by a variety of different things, but the most common cause that we see would be a virus causing that inflammation of the heart muscle. There are less common causes of it, but the, by far the most common one would we see would be a secondary to a virus. So the signs and symptoms of myocarditis are similar to other virus infection, viral infections we get. Often we'll get uh, fever, uh, sometimes we'll get some chills, but generally feel unwell, lack of energy, fatigue, and sometimes we might have some symptoms of an upper respiratory tract infection like cough and uh, feeling general nasal congestion. Uh, but the most common thing that we see with myocarditis is chest pain. And it's often in the middle of the chest and often it's a little bit different from the heart attack type of chest pain we have in that it's worse when we breathe in. It can be worse with certain positions and sometimes it can last longer than a typical heart attack pain. And if we cough, it may get worse. So there's some characteristics of it that are different than a typical heart attack pain, and we pay particular attention to that when people come in. Uh, so the diagnosis, we have certain criteria that we look for. Um, there are things we look for under each EKG, blood tests, and often these are supported by other tests we might do, like an echocardiogram, which is an ultrasound of your heart, or an angiogram or a dye test that we often do in patients to make sure uh, that there are no blockages there because often it is difficult for us to sort out whether or not this is inflammation of the heart muscle due to a virus or from a heart or a heart damage from a heart attack. So often we end up doing multiple tests to ensure uh, that this is actually some inflammation of the heart muscle and not, not a usual heart attack. So the treatment option for myocarditis often are similar to other treatments for viruses or flu-like illnesses. We make sure people get lots of rest, they sleep well, uh, they avoid strenuous activities for a certain period of time until we're happy that that virus has passed through the body and is no longer there. And we often will give them time off of work, time to school, time to rest. If the pain is very uncomfortable, often we'll give them some anti-inflammatory medications. If there's inflammation of some lining around the heart, we'll also give some other uh, different types of anti-inflammatory medications to reduce the chance of that coming back. So normally the heart medications we use would be similar to ones people who have a weak heart muscle from other causes like a heart attack. So we put them on a beta blocker, we might put them on an ACE inhibitor, we might put them on some fluid medications, and also we might put them on certain medications that affect, uh, help the kidneys, help the heart muscle recover. So usually often there's three to five different types of medications we can use to help that heart muscle recover. So other than telling people to eat well, get lots of exercise, get lots of sleep, and take care of themselves, there's no real way that we can uh, prevent this from happening. But I always tell patients if they're concerned uh, to go see their family physician, go to emergency, go to walk-in clinic, because sometimes it's very hard for us to sort this out ourselves. And we don't expect patients to sort this out at home. Uh, we always have concerns about burdening people, burdening the healthcare system, but people shouldn't be worried about that. If they feel unwell, they should go seek care.